Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 33 of our Pokemon Diamond Let's Play. I just finished editing and creating the thumbnail for episode 32, which you should have seen either yesterday or two days ago. I can't figure out if I want to do weekends, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or like how I want to do these videos. I'm considering doing like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then an edited video on Saturday. Not Saturday, Sunday. But I'm not sure, given how things go. But these videos are really easy to make. It just, I was done with it, and only like 10 or so minutes after finishing the last episode. And, like, a few things had to be done. Like, I needed to find a screenshot skin because I hadn't done that in a while, and all of that stuff. But, really, it was just very easy. And I'm not used to that after doing Jaffley videos, which take much longer to create because of all the prep that goes into it, recording and editing. This doesn't really take much prep, it's just recording, which is nice. I'm kind of enjoying it, but I'm going to have to make more entertaining videos in the future, but for now, I don't. Um, last time, if you remember, we showed up here at one of the lake fronts, I don't remember which one. These magic are all just floundering around. We kicked a lot of Team Plasma Grunts around, and if you look at our Pokemon, we got an Inferni, which is pretty cool. So the whole team is fully evolved. We only have five members, we need a few more. But yeah, we're doing these hour-long episodes. The last one, I just really enjoy doing it. I think an hour is a good time to do it. I might up it to two hours maybe one day. I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, without further ado, uh, let's head into this cave. Also, question of the day. Um, I'm going to leave it a few days because I don't know if people want spoilers for the Pokemon Direct. Um, what kind of video do you prefer? Um, like long ones like this? Where it's just talking kind of like a podcast almost, or more highly edited video. Actually, I think I've already asked that one if it's more highly edited videos or not. Um, I feel like I need to talk to this person. Can I look around here? Oh, this is nice. I like this. Um, hmm, what, what should be the question of the day? What? I, like, I want to do more Let's Plays of Pokemon games. What kind of Pokemon games do you like watching Let's Plays of? Is it fan games? Is it um, official games? Is it Nuzlocks? Is it Let's Plays? Is it different kinds of locks? What kind of that stuff do you like? That's the thing. Because I want to try a lot of those in the future. And we'll see. Anyway, you. Hi. The mission is proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone and for the good of Team Galactic. Did you only just notice me? I'm standing in front of you. I recognize your face. You're the child who aided the Team Galactic building in a turner. That is me. Huh. Jupiter should be ashamed of herself for being beaten by a child. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposition will not be tolerated. Okay, man. Oh, jeez. Saturn. Hi. You have weird hair. Cadabra. Okay. Um, that's kind of worrying, but I'm not too scared. I'm gonna hit him with that, um, with that extra sensory, see how much that does. This thing's kind of a glass cannon, it can't take hits too well. It can deal them out, but as you can see, not very well. Oh, not very effective. Oh, Psychic isn't very effective against Psychic. Oh. Uh, yeah. That, that. I mean, we could probably win this fight, but I'm not going to put us through that. Go, Chompy. Chompy has, I think, our only move that's super effective against Psychic types. So that's fun. Uh, what are you going to do to me? You're going to use Psychic. Chompy's going to take it. This is our first time using Chompy since we came back. Ooh, wow. Okay, um, outspeed them and use Bite. We didn't outspeed. Chompy, no! Chompy! No! I'm going to pay for that. At least the big part. I might have to do a grinding session, but I don't know when I'm going to do that. Big Bird gets that Intimidate. Cuts attack. That's not really much, because this thing doesn't use its physical attack, ever. But now it's gone. Reduced to atoms. To Kadatums. Kadatums. Poop of comedy right there. 
Sending out Blonzo. Okay, um... You resist everything I have. But you know what you don't resist? Subpolaris. This still isn't a situation. I want to save sending out Monkey into the world. I feel like it's going to be a legendary moment. I mean, I can't wait too long, because then we're going to become underleveled. But you know what I'm saying. Okay, you surf. Subplus I know can deal with steel types. Subplus is very good at dealing with steel types. Wow, I was hoping that'd be a little bit more damage. Yep, there comes the Shadow Ball. That's not gonna do too much. Yeah, Subplus is quite bulky actually. Absolute MVP. Cannot be defeated. Physically impossible. Unless you're the electric type gym leader. That might be worrying. I'm wondering what the last gym leader is gonna be like. Um, I might have heard of it before somewhere. I don't know. I'm kind of worried about doing that huge long crowd. I want to get our sick Pokemon in there, whatever it is. Oops, so Plus is going to get to level 37. Nice. Okay. And they're going to send in Toxicroak. Okay, I'm going to go out into Bonzon because then you got perfect 3 on 3. Never mind, we've used four Pokemon already. But I'm gonna go into Bonzong, because Bonzong can destroy this thing easily. This thing is not a challenge for Bell. Bell is a force of destruction against these um, fighting poison types. Actually, faint attack might do some damage. Okay, never mind. Bell's a tank. Okay, so we're gonna win this fight. There wasn't really much doubt there. But it feels like we're getting towards the final confrontation of the game. Almost. Okay. We're gonna knock them down. We defeated Commander Saturn. You, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us so. Thank you. I mean, you hurt my carnivine, so you're a problematic person. Guy, even I, Commander, only managed to buy us time. But that's fine, a child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured the Pokemon of Lake Verity. Is that your way of saying, hey, um, go to Lake Verity? I'm sorry if you can hear. We're Team Galactic, the number one syndicate in the world, devises the fire the universe. That's fun. Um, okay, so I am going to. Hop on Big Bird, who is going to fly us. I'm pretty sure they said this late front. Big Bird, take us home. We're back. So, I think near the beginning of this series, I complained that, um, I need to heal up with Mom first. With, uh, I complained that too many Sinner Pokemon evolved through trade. And I actually looked it up and did a bit of research once. And it turns out only about four, Sinnoh, four or five Sinnoh Pokemon involved through trade. So there's a lot more options than I thought there were. Um, I think the ones that do, oh thanks mom, um, are Magmortar, Electivire, Dusk Noir, um, is that it? Is that all of them? Oh, I like this. Verity Link one. Yeah, this is where we gotta be. Um, Hey there, Professor! Uh, oh, and what time are you? Anyway, I think it's those three and maybe one other. So there's a lot more options than I thought there were. Uh, oh, and what timing? Those Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. Gotcha. Ah, uh, what's his old timer? Is he, like, just holding him still? Okay. Oh, it's a double battle! I didn't see you there. My mission is to saw you, sorry, but we've got to do our job. And my mission is to destroy. Sorry, I could do our job. Do my job. In order for us to bring peace to the world, we must control it. Ho, ho, ho. Okay then, bring it. Three on three. I'm gonna focus on the one on the right, because they only have one Pokemon, and being able to defeat that is going to be much more beneficial to them. 
Um, okay, so, Bell and Big Bird, that's a really solid lead. So, um, I am just going to utterly destroy, um, the uh, Silcoon straight away. And I am going to extra sensory the Glamiel and fly the Silcoon. Goodbye, Staraptor, we'll see you soon. Okay. So they didn't go for Fake Out, which is good. They're gonna go for Charm. That's gonna lower our attack. Good thing we're attacking specially. How much is this gonna do to Glamour? Yeah, hopefully more than half. Okay, well, what level is it? 32. Yeah, we're still fine level-wise. Was that a crit? Glamour yeah, fainted. Bell gained 250 XP. Big Bird gained 250. That wasn't even a crit. Bell is just that good. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, um, Seraptor is going to come down like a force of destruction on that Silcoon, so I'm going to set up an Iron Defense here. I want to do that because, uh, there's no point doing anything else. Gone, just reduced to atoms. So we know that, um, it's just, it's going to be two on one now. We're pretty much solid. I think Big Bird is just going to sweep though. I mean, Bell's nice, but Big Bird is next level. Big Bird is built different from anything else on our team. Outcome Skullbat, okay, yeah, this is... Oh, this isn't even going to be a fight. We're not even going to take a hit this game. This match. I'm going to return into the Skullbat. I've had a few ideas to change up um, the layout for future series, which I'm excited to try out. Yeah, Big Bird is just... Bell doesn't even need to be here. Well, you can take a break if you want. And Big Bird's gonna level up too. There was no target. Big Bird's too strong. Another Glamiel? Okay, so um, in the gap I looked up which Pokemon are available. And apparently so... Um, Pearl the only version exclusive ones that I care about, because I only care about the ones from this generation. Uh, actually, there's no reason, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna return, save plus come back with The only version exclusive ones from this generation in Pearl are the Glamiel line, the Miss Magius line, Mischievous Miss Magius, and the Bastion line. I don't know where you get the fossils. I'm, I don't want to get a fossil this playthrough. I'll probably get one in the future. If I do an... I want to do a Nuzlocke of this game. I might do it on the channel, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to change up the leading Pokemon. Um, I'm going to save Monkey to take on the Commander. So we're going to do Champion Subpolaris for this next double battle. I mean, we could do it without... We could do it as two single battles, but I'm not going to. I want to do a double battle. But what was I saying before this? So my plan for um, making better Let's Play videos uh, and Nuzlocke videos is, I don't know if this is going to work, but I feel like the most entertaining ones for me, and I feel like you should make what you're entertained by, is by the A-Drive. And I think you should watch A-Drive, because he's probably the most entertaining Let's Player for Pokemon games, definitely, out there right now. He's the only one I've watched, I should probably watch more. But I'm just having a lot of fun watching his videos right now, and I don't have time to watch any others. Um, I did really enjoy MJ TV's playthroughs, but he doesn't really do Pokemon playthroughs anymore, and that's, that makes me sad. Oh wow, um, Carnivine is not good here. Okay, um, I'm gonna switch out with Carnivine. Um, are we gonna send out Monkey for the first time? No, we're gonna save Monkey, we're gonna save Monkey. I'm gonna go into Bell, because Bell is very good here. And then you're going to... Ooh, wait, 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 this actually, this could work, this could work, this could work. Um, I'm going to bite the Stunky and Surf. Trust me. It'll hit Chompy, but it won't be very effective on Chompy. Um, my plan is basically, because I, I only enjoy age rise content, the way he does that space is, it's kind of just the only entertaining parts of his talk, it's not one long video like this. And I know I shouldn't be copying what other people do, but I feel like I can make it different enough myself. Um, I feel like I'm allowed to talk about who inspires me. Um, but what I'm saying is, record for two hours, and, um, 
Who are you gonna whirlwind to help me out? Are you gonna send in the monkey? Who are you gonna send in? Bell, okay. I'm gonna record for two hours and then try to edit it down to like 30 minutes. Maybe it'll be a bit longer, maybe it'll be a bit shorter. But just keep the entertaining parts. Ideally. Um, okay. Surf's gonna knock everything out, so I'm just gonna iron the pin so I can take Surf a bit better. But like, everything's going down right now. Just everything. Yep, there goes Skunky. Anyway, that's my plan, but like, for the future, and I think I'll only be able to make about one video a week. Like that, and then I'll be pushing it, possibly. But we'll see. I would like to do like fan games, I want to do um, main series games, I want to do challenge, mostly I want to do challenge runs. I feel like challenge runs are way more interesting to watch, like Nuzlocke's, um, Monotype runs, Roulette Locks, I want to bring back Roulette Locks, maybe I'll do a Uranium Lock Roulette Lock again, because that was fun last time. I can do that. Um, what's going to be next? What are they going to throw at us next? Okay, they each only have one Pokemon now. Glammeow and Glammeow. Okay, so you have a lot of Glammeows. That's cool. Um, here in Diamond version, instead of Glammeow, you get um, I don't know, something else. I'm gonna extra sensory this one, and then oh wait, can I tell which one I'm hitting? I'm gonna extra sensory. I can't tell which one is which. I think it's this one. It's the level 33 one, so it's more likely to survive. But then I'm going to surf all of them. Everyone is going to be surfed today. Surf so Polaris is simply too strong. So here the 33 one. We don't quite knock it out, so it's good that I have aimed my attacks into there. Okay. We do take a hit there. Ooh, they're going to assist. And it's going to bring out Mega Drain. Oh no! Oh, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Never mind, we're good. I thought that might have been a problem, but it was not. And they're gonna fuel the types into our steel type. I have a gut feeling we're gonna be fine. Just like a gut feeling. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Just take your time. There we go, okay. So one of them should go down to extra sensory this turn. So does Assist just always find a move that's super effective against um, the Pokémon in front of you? Because that'd be really cool. Maybe it's a move it's got to be used by um, a Pokémon that is in your party. Like, the move has to be known by Pokémon in your party. Okay, Subpolaris is just going to finish this. Because Subpolaris is MVP. Suddenly they're really good, which I wasn't expecting. But I'm all here for it. I might just take Crit Bell and just knock them out. We beat Galactic Grunt and Galactic Grunt. My mind is going orbital! I'm heartbroken. You didn't make a pun, Galactic Grunt number two. I'm disappointed. Okay, um... I'm gonna Hyper Potion, Chompy... And... Um, Bell. I don't feel like Subpolaris needs that potion. I think they're good. I'm gonna go to Pokemon, and it's time. We're sending in Monkey first. Monkey is ready. Hey, Dawn. I'm gonna start by talking to you. That face. It brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Windworks. I caught a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with that look on your face? You do remember me, don't you? Fine, whatever. I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. So what is it? Are you some lovey-dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance, not even a teeny one. You're all going down! Oh, I wonder if we get the dialogue to talk to Dawn. You're the person with the ugly cat, right? Yeah, I'm going to destroy you. Of course! Of course! You send out a gold bat first against my fighting type. You, you would do that, wouldn't you? Okay, um, who works best against Golbat and Bell? Wow, that team's getting a bit high level. Slightly whined, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We are prepared for this. Go Bell. Okay, they're going to use Bite, and it's going to do nothing. 
because that's what you are, Goldback. Nothing. That might be a bit harsh. I'm a big fan of Goldback. Not when they use Supersonic, I'm not, actually. Never mind. I'm not- I was trying to be nice to you, Goldback, but I'm not going to be anymore. Because Bell's not even going to hit themselves into confusion. Bell's going to destroy you. Exactly, thank you, Bell, for not making me an idiot there. That would not have been great. I'm glad I get to record a lot of Pokemon on, you know, Pokemon Day. 25 years of Pokemon. Um, what's the second question of the day? I'm not going to edit the layout for that. Um, what's been your favourite moment of your 25 years of Pokemon? I was thinking about this and I kind of came up with a top 5. I was considering making a video and then I realised I'm not going to do that because this is going to sound weird. For the first time in like 5 years, I'm on top of all my work and I don't want to lose that. So I feel like I can't spend as much... I feel like I was doing too much YouTube and not enough of the other work when I was in 5 leagues. And now that that's over, I can actually be on top of work. And you know what, that's fine. Being, you know... In control. But I'll tell you what my top five favorite moments of my Pokemon career so far have been. Um, number five was my first ever shiny Pokemon that I got from hunting. Um, that was a shiny rock cuff I got in Pokemon Sun. It was also the first game I completed with the Pokedex in, but I decided to shiny on hunt rock cuff first because I really wanted a shiny hunt and I was really excited to. I'm gonna go into Sub Polaris here. And in SOS chaining, you gotta change over every like 20 or so encounters, and I was on about like encounter, I was nearing 100 I think, and I thought, okay, this next rock off that shows up, I gotta change over, and it showed up, and I was gonna, like, I was about to change over, and then I thought, hang on a minute, that one's blue, and that was the first time I got a shiny. That video is actually on this channel, you know, if you want to check it out, maybe. This is gonna be a top five list now. Okay, um, number four is going to be, um, hmm, I think number four is going to be defeating Pokemon Omega Ruby in Nuzlocke only using three Pokemon. Um, I'm going to talk about this more when I do my Pokemon Teams 2, Electric Boogaloo, which I'm really excited for, hopefully that'll be coming soon. I can only make the video once this series is done, so that's when I can make it. Um, but it was a really intense Nuzlocke. I'd lost a few friends, but then the Elite Four came, and I think one of my last encounters before the Elite Four was this while and who I named Cutthroat. And I brought Cutthroat because I just lost one of the members of my team before the League, and uh, I was really excited to use it, and it swept. I think my Machamp, Tetraman, took out one Pokemon out of the entire Elite Four. Morwile took out everything else. Every other Pokemon in the entire Elite Four, more while to help, which was insane. Uh, they hardly took any damage. Then for our battle against Steven, um, I used Altaria, who used Cotton Guard, and just took all the hits and whittled through their whole team until they got to Metagross, and then my starter took out the Metagross. Oh, let's close combat this game. This is going to be fun. See, actually, some damage. But anyway, that was, that was fun. Um, that was one of my top moments in my Pokemon career so far. Number three is probably going to be getting Galarian Surfetched. Uh, this one was really, really recent. Um, you know Farfetch is a Pokemon and Galarian Farfetch can evolve into Surfetch if it gets three crits in one battle. And I'm going to talk about this again in my Pokemon Teams 2 Electric Blue Blue. This is actually another play I'm doing right now, just on my own. I'm playing for Pokemon Sword again. And hey, we took them out in one shot. Good work, monkey. I'm getting into saying these top five Pokemon. Top five moments of Pokemon. Um, yeah. I lost again. So first the wind works, now Lake Verity. That I owe you for. This shouldn't be happening to Team Galactus Commander. Come down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the Lake Pokemon to our HQ. That's right, I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting at the HQ. Pokemon with the three lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grand sending at Lake Valor, a cavern appeared here. It was the cave where the Pokemon Mesprit slept. Mesprit appeared too, probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us, it was super easy to catch. So now we've got them all. Mesprit, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. And Big Brain, the being of intelligence. You'd get that if you watched the NDBL. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans Team Galactic has for them. Oh wow, I see. This also occurred at Lake Valor? 
another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you are up, up against full-fledged criminals. In fact, that you're not unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. But what about Lake Acuity? <laughs> is Farsha safe? Is he safe? So is that saying, go to Lake Acuity? I, I can do that. I'm going to go get healed up first. And then I'll fly as close to Lake Acuity as I can. Um... I'm not going to go through the whole battle because I actually wrote it down, how I got surfetched, but it took a really long time and it was just, when it finally happened, it felt so good. Um, anyway, yeah. Number two of my top Pokemon moments of all my time playing, defeating my Pokemon um, X Nuzlocke. Um, that Nuzlocke was really fun to defeat because I hadn't really... I had tried that Nuzlocke so many times over the years. And I never won, and then when I finally did, it just it felt so satisfying. Um, and number one is my NDBL Season 1 Draftly Battle against Phoenix, which by all accounts I should have lost, but at the last possible minute, our Dracozolt pulled out a victory. And it was so, so amazing. Anyway, that's my top five. I'll focus on the game now, sorry. Um, Lake Acuity, that's where we need to go. Key items. Um, town map? Use. I'm gonna assume Lake Acuity is all the way up here in Snowpoint City, which is also where the next gym badge is. So, um, I wanna go, to, yeah, let's go to Eternity City. We need Big Bird to take us there. Because I wanna stock up on some potions and stuff. Because that is, that's a long, that is a long route right there. Okay, um, actually, before I go to Eternity City, do I want to go to, um, those Iron Islands they were talking about over here? I think I do, because I feel like this is the point in the game where I'm meant to go to the Iron Islands, or whatever they were called. Let's go explore those. Um, I know that the plot is saying, hey, I'm happening right now, but you know what else is happening right now? Society. Um, where's, where's the, um, here it is. I need to stock up on supplies because I want to go down to this these islands and actually get some stuff done. Um, hyper potion. Wow, we've got a lot of money. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and buy like 41 of these because we just got all the money. Now we no longer have 100k. You know that's fine. Um, I'm gonna. Go grab some ultra balls. Oh wait, no, no, not that many. That seems excessive. Because oh wow, we're just using all of the money very quickly. Maybe we'll find something that we want to add to our team at these islands. I don't know. Um, yeah, we're gonna take a bit of a break from the plot. Also, I feel like our team's getting a bit behind. And these islands might be the perfect place to train. Hi. Do you want to set sail? To the iron islands? Let's go. This is going to be fun, doing a bit of exploration. I don't feel like this place is necessary to the plot, but we're going to do some exploring. We're going to have some fun. Oh, that's a nice animation. Oh, wow. Now we're going very fast. Okay. Iron Island. Here we are. Um... Hi. Do you have secrets here? Ooh, there's nothing in here. Okay. I would like to... find... stuff. Maybe Pokemon? Okay, uh, let's go right first. Okay, um... Ooh, um, do I want to grab a Rappel? Graveler. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna knock it out. Go, monkey! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna run from this, because... There should be trainers in here. Do I have repels, though? I feel like I should, maybe? Um, I don't wanna go back. I've got a few repels, yeah, we're good. Good work past Owen. That's not what I wanted to do. Hello, item. An escape rope. 
I don't need to escape. Can I move this rock? No. So there was literally nothing this way. Cool. Actually, wait, what are the secrets? Nope, no items. Okay. Okay, up here we go. Yeah, this way seems more... Just smacking our heads on everything, apparently. Oh, they don't say, do you want to use another? That's a bit annoying. Okay, uh... Fight me! Yeah, I like to camp. So what? Uh, let's battle. Okay, I didn't... There was nothing wrong with you liking to camp. I wasn't trying to be negative about your hobbies, Lawrence. Hey, Luxio! I love Luxio. Not as much as I love the XP you're about to give me. Use flame wheel. Yeah, it looks like we... I'm glad we went here now, if the Pokemon are about this level in the 30s, because we're actually going to get some benefit from it, instead of just, you know, running through it quickly. Oh, Luxio. Oh, Luxio, come on. Have some class. Fine. Fine. Monkey's not going to hit himself in confusion. Monkey's good. We're going to cut you. Like, it's going to be one of those cool movies where they cut you and they're suddenly behind you. And suddenly your whole body just splits in two. That sounds terrifying if they actually did that in the anime. Just, instead of knocking out a Pokemon in front of it, just kills someone. Oh, hello there. You, I've got something special for you. Oh wait, no! No! Monkey! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You took it? Oh, come on. Stunky, have some class. Okay, never mind. I see, I see where that was going. Yep. Monkey is hurt by the poison. Come on, monkey, you can do this. I believe in you. Use co Yes, monkey! Punch, 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 punch. Reduce the aspects. Adios, Stunky. Goodbye forever. My comrade. Monkey's gonna get a bit of XP? Cool. You should have stuck to camping, Lawrence. And now I'm going to rob you. Okay, so... We need medicine. Bull heal. Use. Um, I'm gonna put someone else up front. I'm gonna put Chompy up front because I feel like they're the weakest member of the team right now and they deserve to be stronger. What is this? Everything? An iron ball? Is that it? What? Like, an iron ball is nice, but... I, I kind of want a bit more than that, you know? It looks like there's a lot more to do with this place. Did I... I missed something down here, I must have. No? Oh wait, I'm, I'm not... I'm not very intelligent, guys. Ig ignore me, please. Hello there. A super repel. That might be useful. I bet I was meant to go here before the gym as a kind of way to train up. We don't need a train. Fight me! Why are you having a picnic in the middle of a cave? Why don't I just, you know... Go out into the sunshine. I'm sure the weather's like actually it's dinner. It's probably freezing outside. Oh, Staravia, of course. I put my grass type up front. And you send Staravia. With intimidate. Yeah, okay. Fine, you know, be like that. I, I don't I don't care. I'm not annoyed. I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Uh Bell, you can deal with this. Staravia's, I don't know Staravia's special defense, it's probably not great, because, you know, it's a Staravia. Endeavor! 
that's actually going to do some damage, because that takes me down to the same amount of HP you're on. Which is pretty soon going to be zero, but it's not going to take me down to zero then. Aerial Ace, that does a bit. Okay, so you have more HP than me right now. How much HP do you have now, huh? It doesn't seem like any damage is done until um, Bell kind of does that astral projection thing. So what is it doing in the astral plane that hurts Staravia so much? I must know. Cherim, um, I don't know if this thing's a poison type. I mean, it's not gonna get sunny down here. I'm gonna extra sensory again. They're gonna magically. Okay, that's fine. I can tank that quite easily. Yeah, we're good. I've been very productive these past few days, like, more productive than I've ever been before, and I feel more stressed than ever, if that makes sense, because I'm on top of everything. I'm not behind on anything right now. And because of that, I feel like there should be more than I'm stressed about, but there isn't. Does that make sense? I mean, there is some stuff that I might be a bit behind on. But, you know, we don't need to worry about that stuff, okay? Can I move these? Is that like an item somewhere? Okay, no, I gotta go this way. That's fine too, I guess. So this is the way forward. Okay. And there's more down here. Well, would you look at that. Okay, uh, let's go right this time. Okay, this definitely feels like the way you continue on. Okay, have a rock type. So that my carnivine can destroy you. Sorry, I know you're, you're an essential worker right now. I'm still going to have to hit you with my Venus Flash hat. Thank you, William. Okay, fine way. They can use Rock Tomb, that's fine. That's neutral against us, because Chompy has the flying typing. It's gonna lower our speed, we were already slower than you. Why is Onyx faster than my Venus Fighter? I feel like neither of them are particularly fast, but the flying plant should be faster than the Rock Snake, probably? I don't know. How does that work out? Huh? How does any of that work out? Please stop throwing rocks at my plant. It is incredibly rude. I'm going to have to destroy you for that, Onyx. You leave me no other options. That's your immediate demise. Okay, Chomby's gonna gain a very little bit of HP. Of XP. This incredibly happy looking graveler. Or is it smug looking graveler maybe? I don't know. That's well out. That's a bit worrying. We're gonna need to destroy that immediately. Oh, it's got sturdy. It doesn't have sturdy. That it just did that naturally, okay. They're gonna go out again. We should take this fine. Good work, Chompy. Yeah, Chompy. See, this is the Chompy I remember. And solid chunk of XP. Very nice. Thank you. Oh wait, that's not where I wanted to go. Sorry. Um, I want to use a Hyper Potion on Chompy. Actually, I'm going to use the... No, we're good. I'm going to go into the bag because it's going to be annoying if I don't do that. Okay. Max Ether, that's going to be useful for the Elite Four. Okay. That's a very useless staircase, unless... Nope. I can go this way, though. Okay, um, use another. 
I don't know how big these iron islands are. Like, have I gotten myself into something that's a bit bigger than I thought? You'll tell me, won't you? Why well, you make sure the lifts are safe? So you mean the lifts might not be safe for the general public, but instead of trying to fix the lifts, you're going to beat up a small child. Is that what you're telling me, sir? Okay, thanks. I just wanted to clear that up. Cool, good to know. I haven't talked this much in a long time, and my voice is starting to really hurt. Because hour-long recordings are not what I'm used to normally. Normally they're like 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, this is going to be interesting to see if my voice survives today. Um, but we should still knock it out this turn. This should get us to level 36, which is very nice. Okay, Chompy, you're doing great. None of the Pokemon are going to evolve anytime soon. But we still have that. Um. Get the item. Iron Tail! That could be nice. Is there something hidden here? No. Okay, so that's everything on this side. I went the right side first. Why are there so many things that have just nothing in them? Like secret items. You know, I'm gonna let us get a couple of encounters. See if there's any cool Pokemon down here that aren't, you know, Graveler and Zubat. I do want to use a Golem eventually in the Let's Play. I haven't used a Golem yet. And you might know this, I want to uh, use every Pokemon in existence that aren't legendaries, of course, in Let's Plays. That's why my Pokemon Teams is a series on this channel, which only has one installment so far. Until this series is done and I can do my Pokemon Teams 2. Okay, you're going to self-destruct. That feels unnecessary. But we should take this. You, you, I don't like you. Because you're gonna- Nobody gains anything from- Why would you do that? Okay. Okay, revive, use, and trumpy. Hyper potion, use. Again, on Chompy. There we go. Sorry about that, Chompy. I don't know how far I'm gonna go, because it can be very annoying. I just wanna know if there's anything that isn't Graveler. I'm just gonna run from this Graveler, you know, it's not worth the heartache. No, it's not. Got away safely. Haha. <laughs> we are safe. Out we go, and now down this way. Oh, hi. Um, is there an item here? No. Who are you? You are? Okay, you're Owen. I'm Riley. What's the voice this guy has? I think they're British. I'm a trainer, and yes, it is a bit odd that I would be training here. If you'd like, we could team up with the wild Pokemon hero, Restless. I guess I did. If your Pokemon get hurt, I'll heal them up. Oh, thank you, Riley. Um, okay, that's a double battle. Oh, did you remove my repel? Onyx and Golbat. Okay, wow. Um, Lucario. Okay, um, that's fun, Riley. Let's fight these guys. Every good hiker gets a boost of energy when surrounded by boulders. Rah! Coming at you! Let me blow off some steam! Go for the mountains. Battle will do for proper greeting. Okay, next time I go hiking, when I meet someone else hiking, I will just punch them in the face. Because apparently that's okay. Is that the kind of lesson you're trying to send me, Maurice? Huh? Not a good message. This is a very bad matchup. Actually, it's only a zoo I'm not too worried about that. Uh, Lucario, you're a steel type. Deal with the Zubat, please. Um, I'm going to vine whip the Graveler. Yes! Metal Claw! The Zubat! Riley! Yes! Love it! Beautiful! 
a dynamic duo. I feel like Lucario is such a respectable and deep Pokemon, and then I have my Venus flytrap with googly eyes next to it. And you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. It, it's actually a good metaphor for how I look. I'm a British person, and I've made Riley British in my head. And it's a metaphor for how I look compared to how people normally imagine British people. It's not good, guys. Um, okay, so a Machoke and another Golbat. Okay, I'm going to assume you can take out that Golbat. I will deal with the Machoke by Vine Whipping it. Okay, well, that wasn't Viley. Okay. They're going to wing attack my Chompy. Chompy should be able to take at least one of these. Yeah, okay, we take that. Chompy just tanks it. We might be able to take out the Machoke. I mean, we've got a few levels and everything else here. No. We need a more powerful move. Oh, this is going to really hurt um, Lucario. Oh wow, Lucario barely lived. And Machoke's going to knock himself out. That's nice. Okay. Chompy gets a bit... Um, I'm gonna ingrain. Why are you force palming it? No! That's not gonna do anything! I'm kind of relying on you here. Okay, you're lucky the Golbat decided to attack me. Okay. Metal Claw, please. I might not be able to swap out now. That might not have been a great plan. I was just trying to build in leftovers. Um, okay, so let's- I'm gonna bite the Golbat. But I, I'm the slowest thing on the field. Why would you do that? I hope Golbat knocks you out, Riley. Okay, they went- they went for the Lucario. That's good. Not good for the Lucario, but you know what? Riley could have defeated this thing much earlier on, and chose not to, actually. Echo hits everything! Wait, no! <gasps> Chompy, yes! Come on, Chompy, chomp! No! Okay, tell me Riley has another Pokemon. I don't know if they do. I'm gonna go for the bite here. Onto the gold bat. We're gonna go down. Okay, Chompy. Um, I didn't think we could swap out there. That's fine, I have more Pokemon, I can deal with this. Go back to fast. Wow. Um, let's send in Bell. Bell can deal with this thing. Oh wow, it's gonna. Oh, it's a. One on one. Why does everyone always confuse Bell? Is it just a thing that all Golbats have to do to graduate into Crobats? Confuse Bell? Is that it? Okay. Come on, Bell. You can do this. Oh no, that might actually hurt. Never mind. Come on, Bell. Do not hit yourself in confusion. Yes! Okay. Down goes the bat. Okay, I want to finish Iron Islands this episode. I hope it's not too much further. Hopefully. Is Bell going to level up? Yes, they are. 36, that's nice. Onyx, we can beat this. We can do this. I should add Flash Cannon instead of Iron Defense. I think Flash Cannon is just a better move. Overall. Taking this head of Sandstorm, you know what, that's fine. I'm going to get a free hit off on you. Oh wait, does Sandstorm buff Onyx's special defense? Bell, no! Okay, come on, Bell. Use extra sensory. They're just gonna set up on us. That's that's worrying, that's very worrying. Come on, Bell. Come on. Bell, it is a 1 in 3 chance for you to hit yourself in confusion, and you have used 3 moves and hit yourself twice. 
What, what is this? Do we need to have a conversation? Speak to me after class, please. This onyx is setting up on your face. You are better than this spell. You can probably one-shot this thing. There we go. Okay, that's right. Absorb them into the astral plane. That's a lot of damage. Because we're steel type, we do not take damage from sandstorm. Which is something. Um. The. Oh yes, something Sword and Shield taught me. It looks like talking to everyone actually does pay off sometimes. Down they go. Okay, that was a tough battle. That shouldn't have been so difficult. But we won. Bell's gonna get a big close level 37. Yahoo! Cool. Uh, can you heal me, please? No! I'm just gonna run. Alright, yeah, I'm not gonna add a Celix to my team, because I can't. Oh! I already healed Choppy. Okay, Rally, I see you. I see you. What? Do we have to kill these Onyx? I'm putting the repel back on if we gotta. If we can't run from everything easily. Oh, great. Yeah, cool. Great. I wanna leave. I don't wanna be here. Okay, two crits. That's a very low chance, like 1 in 32. But let's leave. Yeah, cool. It's not 1 in 32, it might be even more than that. Um, okay. I feel like that's roasting me unnecessarily, Riley. I don't appreciate that kind of negativity. Okay, there are some trainers back here I wanted to defeat. Because they guard the way to an item. Okay. A hundred straight the win. I'm about to end your entire career. Okay, let's go. Let's go then. Black Belt Kendall and Battle Girl Tyler. Okay. Medicham. That's fine. Okay, actually the Krogunk isn't great. Bell is really good here. So I'm gonna swap out into Bell. Uh, yeah. Because Bell is also one of the lower members of the team right now. Okay, they're gonna Metal Claw the one that is resisted. That resists Metal Claw. That's fine too. They're gonna land a high jump kick. Oh, Lucario's gone. Yeah, okay, it's a two on one now. This this is fine. You know what? We've got Big Bird in the back. You don't stand a chance against me. Don't make me get Big Bird, just let Bronze on win. I haven't hurt you yet, that revenge will do nothing. Okay, I'm gonna take out the Krogunk because beating something in two on one is easier than beating it in no beating something in a one on one is easier than beating it in a two on one, and I've got a much better chance against the Krogunk. Okay, out comes the extrasensory. Astral plane. Down goes Kogang. This thing is not surviving that. Yep. It's four times super effective. Down goes Kogang. Chompy's gonna gain a bit of XP. That's fine too. Okay, come on, Bell. Winner for the team. Oh, that's not gonna do anything. That's only neutral. And we're very defensive. Okay, I quit it actually a bit there. But I'm still taking you out this time. Riley has not been a very good partner so far. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna land a strength on you. Yes, calm mind! You thought I was gonna try to heal or something, didn't you? You fool. Also, you're a physical attacker. So far you lose a force palm and high jump kick. What was what was your plan here? I, w I wanna hear it. Okay, um... If 
Each of those. I mean, maybe instead of being mouthy, you should just like plan something out. I don't know. Um, we should have the repel cell active. I want that item. Ooh, magnet. Um, that increases electric type moves power, right? Okay. I'm just gonna quickly use another repel. What happens if I escape over now? What does um, Riley do? Like, how do they react to that? Like, just, they're gone now, I guess. Crazy. They will be missed. Okay, I want to explore everything. I don't want to miss anything. Ultra Ball. That's nice. This way. Repels effect wore off. Again. Wow. Okay, so whatever generation introduced the would you like to use a new repel rule is incredible and whoever introduced it needs a raise immediately. I don't care if they've already gotten a raise because of that rule. They, they deserve another one. Hi, okay, two ace trainers. Um, I think this might be the last battle because there seems to be quite a bit of this left and I don't want... I, I do want these episodes to be quite long but I'm also tight for time right now. I'll try to keep it at about an hour, I think that'll be fine. Okay, so, Jonah and Brenda. I know it, Jonah. And that has nothing to do with this video, but I do. Wow, two Pokemon that are incredibly good against um, Carnivine. That's, that's fun. You know, that's, that's fun. Um, I'm gonna swap out here, and I think my best bet against this is Subpolaris. Or Big Bird. Uh, I'm gonna go Subpolaris because Subpolaris can. Nope. Um, surf it to everything. Okay, I'm gonna go into Bell or Big Bird. Um, I'm gonna go into Bell. Because we have that heat, we'll be fine. I didn't put the uh, extra attacks onto Bell yet, though. So that's not great. It should be fine. Force Palm into that thing, that's great. Okay, um, does Pony Car just go straight down? No. Ooh, we do get a power though. I'm just gonna switch on the lights quickly. Um, okay. Ooh, wait, whatever, I missed whatever Pony Car did. Well, down goes Lucario. Oh no, Lucario takes the hit for once, but it gets confused, of course. Can they hit their partner in this game? Oh, that would suck. Okay, I'm gonna exercise me the power button. Lucario's confused, are they going to hit themselves? They're going to land a bone rush on the pony top. That's very nice. And they do land it twice. Okay. Down that thing goes. Um. Okay. Trumpy's going to gain a bit of HP. Not HP, XP. Sorry. Okay, can we knock out this Pelipper in one extra turn soon? Can we do it? Is it possible? No. Oh wow, there's a lot of Pokemon here. This is where having Flash Cannon would be really nice. Um, I'm going to... I feel like the Pelipper is slightly bigger over 30 because it's high level. Oh, but Lucario can't do anything to the Haunter at all. Never mind, they just hit themselves in confusion. They're gonna make this a two on one, aren't they? Okay, at least it's Lucario who's. Wait, was that. No, it was Belle! No! You monsters! How could you do this to me? Oh, okay, this is gonna be a very tough battle, actually. Yeah, this might, this might be very difficult. Come on, Belle. Break through, we're... We kinda need you right now. If we make it a 1-1, one -one, that's gonna drastically increase our odds. Down goes Palapa. At least Belle's gonna get a lot of XP from this. In comes Pseudo Rudo. We don't have Flash Cannon, which would be incredibly useful. I need to add that as soon as this battle is done. 
Um, okay, so extra sensory into the water. They're gonna sucker punch us. Do we tank? We tank that ver very easily. Come on. Bell, don't hit yourself in confusion. Bell? Bell? Bell, we need you right now. We're kind of being beaten up a bit, Bell. Oh, that's, that's super effective. Oh, this is going to very much hurt. Never mind, Bell is a tank. Like, this is a F drop. We're still fine. Oh my goodness. This reminds me of the War of Attrition episode. We are being destroyed right now. Come on, Bell. Land the extrasensory on the Haunter. Do not hit yourself in confusion for the third time. Yes! Take it out. Take it out. Come on. There we go! That's the bell I'm talking about. Okay, they're gonna paint attack. Um, that's gonna be a solid chunk of damage. Okay, we live. Oh, they have another one. Oh, wait. We might have the perfect Pokemon for this situation. Let's go, Chompy! Okay, they're gonna crunch. Shouldn't do too much. Yeah, okay. That's gonna lower our defenses. That's a bit worrying. Low kick. That's a low blow. There. We resist that, though, because we're fine. Are we not flying? Have I just been wrong about that? Okay, that float is definitely a bigger threat. They got Ice Fang! I already should have seen that coming, Chompy's going down. Yep. Sorry, Chompy. Okay. So long. Okay. So we still got four Pokemon. Um, I'm going to... Subpolaris can hit both of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Subpolaris do that. Taking out that Sudo would, would be really nice. Because then I can safely go into Big Bird. Uh, Big Bird can definitely take out the Support Soul, despite Ice Fang, which is that tough. Ice Fang's gonna do nothing, we resist it. There we go. Um, this thing can only really faint attack me. We're gonna get the Surf off. Can we just one-shot it though? I mean, we have like four levels on it. That's a super effective noise. Yellow. Ah, uh, only to yellow. Okay, but well, we've got some chip damage on the Floatzel. They're going outside, they're trying to make us flinch, but we're not gonna. Okay. Um. Surf again. Onto both of them. Floatzel's an Ice Fang, that is gonna do nothing. Let's get us. Ooh, wow, is that a crit? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna get the Surf and. That pseudo wudo is gone. It's gonna turn into a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, this has been a tough match. But we should deal with it. Just fine. Ooh, Bell gets to level 37. Good work, Bell. Now, you made this match difficult, Floatzel. So I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine. A friend who I think you'll find very interesting. They're gonna ice fight and we're gonna take it because we just intimidated them. What's Foxel gonna go for? Swift! Oh yes, we got the switch in. Right. Okay. One a return. This thing is not taking a return. Adios, Floatzel. I can't wait to use you because you're Kind of a really cool Pokemon. Down it goes, okay. We pulled out a victory. That was tough. Um, before I end this episode, I am going to just add Flash Cannon to Bonzong because I need a Steel-type move, and then I'm going to end this episode. Take that, Jonah and Grenda. I have bonded well with my Pokemon. That was a tough match. Okay, bag. Um, TMs. Like, there's a lot of quite good TMs here. 
but I'm pretty sure we're training a very special, um, special Bronzong, and Bronzong should have Flash Cannon. Yes. What's Flash Cannon's power? Base power, 80. Yeah, that's better than Iron Defense, because I hardly use Iron Defense. Okay, there we go. Good work there. Um, there is a lot of stuff to do, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode of our Pokemon Diamond Let's Play. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all in the next one for episode 34. Um, ODF out, and goodbye.